hello guys so how are you guys doing and today i'm starting a, a brand new fresh uh, flutter series uh, based on uh, flutter ui material U ui so guys uh, in this series we'll be building this amazingly beautiful uh, mcdonald's concept app ui uh, where we have this burgers and we also have these categories which we can scroll uh, horizontally so as you guys can see and we also have a cart so if i click on any of this burger then we can see a small snack bar uh, which uh, notifies that the item has been added to the cart so if i click out here then you guys can see that actually i have ordered uh, two uh, items previously so it is uh, multiplied by three uh, because now i, I have ad added another one so as you guys can see we have this uh, cart and uh, that's it so i will complete this app uh, in this series and i hope you guys will like this series so guys uh, let's get started so guys first of all i'll hit f1 and i'll start a new flutter project i'll just name it as uh, mcdonald's uh, concept that's it and then let's uh, save it to my desktop and our new project will be created now uh, let me just cancel the previous one so i'll just cancel it and as soon as i cancel it we have uh, now have the i uh, uh, removed from our em emulator screen so here we have our new project uh, which is now being uh, being made ready so here we have all the files and now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going inside the lib folder and uh, i'm going to the main.dart file and uh, we have some uh, dummy data or uh, default uh, code out here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, select everything and just uh, clear it out let's save it so uh, before uh, writing any code in main.dart i need to have some files uh, i actually i need to create some more files so that i can import them and uh, use it in my main.dart file so inside my lib folder i'll create a new folder uh, which will be our first part that is the models so it will con uh, contain the models of the food items so inside the models folder i will just create a file uh, which i am going to uh, name it as uh, food item dot dart and uh, today in this video in in the first part of this video uh, we'll just build the model and in the next part we'll continue with the blocks uh, block section and then uh, we'll build the ui so i will keep the videos uh, shorter so that you guys don't get actually bored and uh, really enjoy the process of uh, this coding part so let's get started so inside our uh, food item dot dart file first of all i'll need to import the flutter material uh, the flutter uh, foundation dot dart so i'll import uh, import uh, package uh, flutter foundation dot dart and after that uh, i'll create a list so a uh, food item list so food uh, item list food uh, item list equals uh, food uh, item list and then it will have the list of of the food items that we uh, we need or uh, to put it in our app basically this uh, will be a dummy data so we are not involving any api in this process uh, to make it uh, to not to make it a bit complicated but yes you guys can uh, implement any uh, api free api or any paid api you want uh, re regarding the food items so uh, i'll just use um, dummy data for this series so just name food items and uh, this will be the list and let's give a semicolon out here and inside this list uh, I first of all create this food item and inside the food item I'll give an ID which will be the first item and uh, let's give a title so so the title would be a uh, beach let's say beach uh, barbecue burger 
and uh we'll uh give it a price so the price would be uh uh let's say 14.49 comma then uh we actually uh, need to give the image for our uh, data so i'll have uh i'll give uh, the image uh, so actually i'm using the image from the internet so i'll just uh, give the uh, http link out here so i have the links in this file uh, so i'll just uh, copy this up and i'll just uh, paste it here and after that we will create another food item so uh, actually let's just copy it and let's just paste it here we'll make uh, the changes in the title price and the url uh, later on so i'll just copy it up and so we we are going to use uh, just uh, six images of uh, food items so i'll just uh, paste it uh, six times so one two three and here we go so uh, let's uh, edit uh, the title and the prices so the second one would be uh, let's say uh, kick ass uh, burgers so these are just uh, random names uh, which i'm giving on my own of course supreme pizza burger and uh, the fifth one would be uh, chili cheese uh burger and uh actually you guys uh, do tell me in the comments uh, which uh, the type of burger do you like the most so my favorite one is the barbecue bar burger so uh, i'm actually uh, using it uh, everywhere so let's uh yes this one would be a uh, american barbecue burger and the last one would be a uh, french well, uh, French barbecue burger. Well, I don't know if the, there is any bar uh, barbecue burger of uh, French or in France. I'm just uh, giving a uh, random data. So let's copy the image URLs. Let's copy this up and uh, let's paste it here. And uh, the third one. Copy the third one and i'll uh, paste it here uh this stuff is uh, quite actually uh, uh somewhat a little boring because you just have to copy and paste all this stuff but you know uh not everything is interesting of course and the last one is uh let's say which one this one was the last one okay so uh, let's copy this up and i'll just uh paste it here okay that's it so uh here uh, we have our food items ready but uh let's uh actually uh, give some index so this one would be three this one would be four. Oh, actually i have just uh, given here uh five food items um uh, never mind uh, i will use five for now or uh, let's just uh, copy this and uh, paste it here and this one would be a uh, Italian and uh, let's keep the prices same and uh, this one would be ID 6 and uh, I'll change the image so I think I skipped this one so I'll just uh, copy this and I'll paste it right here that's it now we have our food items ready and now we have to create the instances like the price the title etc so i'll create a class so class uh, food uh, item uh, list and uh, inside this we'll give a list so list uh, this one would be a food uh, item and uh, food items okay so after that uh, we'll give a food we'll initialize our food item so food item list so food item uh, list and uh, okay so inside here i'll give a required 
required uh, this uh, this dot food items okay and uh, uh, I forgot to put a D out here so typing mistake so after that uh, we need to create the food item class so let's create it so class uh, food item and uh, food item okay so uh, after that inside this class we have to uh, create the instances so it would have a uh, uh, integer which uh, will be the id then a string uh, which will be the title and then uh, double uh, which would be the price so price and then another string uh, which would be the image uh, URL and uh, that's it so now after this we have to initialize them so food uh, food uh, item food item and uh, inside this we'll have uh, required required this uh, dot ID comma required uh, this this uh, dot uh, title comma uh, required okay required this uh, dot uh, price and then uh, required this dot image URL okay so uh, we are set with the classes and then uh, actually uh, we need to create a method uh, for actually we'll be building a card so uh, in the card section we can actually increment or uh, decrement the quantity of the food items so let's create uh, that uh, function so void uh, increment quantity and inside this uh, this so uh, let us uh, uh, include an another part uh, which will be the quantity so that we can uh, show uh, what uh, the quantity of uh, food items we have so in the cart so I'll just uh, give uh, here uh, this dot quantity okay I'll come out here and we have to create uh, the quantity instance out here so it will be an integer so integer quantity okay so so inside uh, the increment quantity function we'll have this dot uh, quantity this dot quantity uh, equals uh, this uh, dot quantity uh, plus one and I'll just uh, copy this up and uh, paste it here but it would be a uh, decrement so decrement decrement quantity and this one would be a uh, minus so actually we have got some errors out here uh, let us see here. so we have uh, forgotten to uh, put commas out here so just correct it yes okay so uh, so guys our food item model is ready it's all set and in the next part of this series i will be building the uh, block section or uh, building the blocks so that, uh, that so to make our app uh, more responsive and and we'll be using the block package uh, plugin uh, for flutter so uh, I hope uh, you'll find this series very helpful and do subscribe to my channel if you want to get notified for the latest upcoming videos and do like and share this video if you found this video helpful. So till then guys see you in the next part.